Uh, I think that's lost a little steam by now. Nah, it hasn't, man. It hasn't because Drake ain't getting in the booth to go rap, man. Exactly. That's the problem. That's what I'm He's saying. Not like no, no, no. But but that's why it ain't lost no steam. <laughs> Because everybody's sitting here, like, because he's on he's on tour right now, and uh, he keeps on doing Make, other things. Like I think last night it, he the, <laughs> ang- the the emotional outburst. <laughs> right, right, right. I think he uh, he did somewhere. He shot. He's like it was like a um, a cutout of or like a cutout of uh, Travis Scott. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me try and clear this. Hopefully, this one makes a show, but. Um, it was a cutout of Travis Scott and at his show, and then like he had like some sound effects and he shot it up or whatever. It's like, man, we ain't trying to hear that, man. Get in the booth, go get in the booth and rap. Because see, when it was Meek Mill, when it was Meek Mill, and you thought you had an easy win, you was, hey, Grammy. He got Grammy nom- he, he got Grammy nominated for back to back. That was a diss track that they nominated him for a Grammy for, right? Pusha T came. He 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 thought he was doing a little back and forth for Pusha T. Pusha T came through and uh uh-uh, uh spanked him. Now he's scared to get back in that water. Uh. And I think his fan base is big enough that he don't have to. But at the and, end of and, the day, man, and that's, and that's what he thinks too. And that's how he's correct acting. Co- co- correct. Does he have to? At, he does not have to. Okay. I mean, so nobody has to do fans. anything, but I mean, this is, no, no, this is what, what I'm saying stuff. is, what I'm saying is the, the support he gets from his fans, they, they defend him every day as to why he can't and why he won't and what he's not going to do and this, that, and the third. But like you said, at the end of the day, this is competitive rap. That's right, the, man, that's it's, the, it's that's rap. the sport you're it's in. Hip-hop. But look, right. It's, com- yeah. it's, it's competitive rap. And, but, and, but, and, but and hold on, hold on, hold on. And you out here supporting battle rap events. Oh, man, that makes all worse. in. But you ain't. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I, but you can't but handle that, your own business. But that's the era that we grew up in. We grew up in the hip hop era where it was competitive. And if somebody went at you, then you got to go back at them. The, the, a lot, you know. The, the next generation, the generation under us are two generations are, are generation X. We're, are, we're, no, they're not generation X. Excuse me. The millennials. The yeah, millennials. We are the we're the end. Okay. We're the end of the millennials. Like, OK, so who is it after us? Move that shit over. Who, who is it after us? What are they? What are they called? Gen Z. G- OK, Gen Z. Gen Z. Gen Z thinks that Drake is the GOAT. And in Gen Z, they have a different set of rules and a different set of codes that we that that they go by that we don't go by. So Gen but, Z, but what I'm, you don't have to battle. They're, but what they're I'm not saying, expecting what, what, Drake what to you, battle. What you what you do? You 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 get on social media and and throw uh, <laughs> throw out innuendos and all that kind absolutely, of shit. Like absolutely, right, little, little, and then, little, little, little zesty comments. And then you <laughs> and then you flash your money and you the talk zesty. about the money that you're making. And but everyone but again, cheers and applauds, and that but that's cool if that's cool if Drake never jumped into the arena, right? When you jumped into the arena with with Meek Mill, you said essentially, if people come at me, I'm going back at them. You came with like two or three raps in a week. What that's letting me know is you you were a bully. Right, you saw an easy win, because let's be let's be for real. I'm a Meek Mill fan, right? Uh, and I, I, I I believe I I could tell. So it's written all over <laughs> your face. <laughs> yeah. So Uma so got that that side it, by side with Meek Mill where they yeah, looking just alike. Oh, post. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so at the end of the day, it didn't matter what Meek Mill was saying because. He just wasn't big enough to overcome beefing with Drake, right? Like it didn't matter. Like you could have, he you could have got off some good bars. To this day, like every six months in the media, he's doing like prison reform, and they find a way to like smear his name in the media, right? So like you 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 broke up with the biggest rap female rap star, you beef with the biggest male rap star. Like you just don't have the fan base because they're like. 
you've just already alienated two of the biggest fan bases. And we so when it was even that, go into what they talking about this nigga done did. Ah, uh, yeah, but 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 again, that's a, a, another smear campaign, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's a he said, she said in a court document. And I think another name was another name was uh was mentioned. I think it was Usher, but nobody saying anything. Like there's no anyway. We, yeah, we're not going. Yeah, there. yeah, that, 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 yeah. In there. Uh, no, Steve, Steve, yeah. But <laughs> I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna go down that road. I'm just gonna stay on this part. So when you thought you had an easy win, bully shit, right? You thought you had an easy win, you ran down on him, right? No homo, mm -hmm. whatever, whatever, no pause or whatever you want to say. Um, but Pusha T, you thought you had an easy win. You thought you had an easy win, so it was just like bullying as usual. Then you made a mistake and mentioned his wife's name. And then he had to he had to handle you. And I think so. I was um I was I was reading something, uh, and somebody was saying that. The lesson that he learned, that Drake learned from that Pusha T battle was when somebody baits you, like Pusha T baited him to rap, be cautious because they probably got one or two tucked. Like, I believe that if Drake would have went back at Pusha T, Pusha T had another one for him. <laughs> <laughs> of course. But he, so, of course so, so right is. now, Ken, Kendrick baited you, right? He just threw a couple shots, bam, 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 bam. nothing heavy, but just something light. Like, hey, you got to rap. You got to rap. Come out, you know, hit, treat them like the Warriors. Come out and play, right? And Drake is like, nah, I'm going to be on tour. I'm going to keep doing my little thing. I'm going to stay out the way and take subliminal shots at Travis Scott and Future or whatever. But, yeah, man, it's a, it's a crazy it's a crazy time right now. So the Drake thing I think is real, is real important in hip-hop because you're supposed to be the face of hip-hop. And you're not getting in the booth to go rap. That's, hey, but, that's, but, that's but, but that's the thing, though. That's the thing, though, Ubong. You keep saying hip hop, and that's the that's the thing that people keep saying or keep people keep asking: Is Drake really hip hop? He's crossed over, and yeah. And so he, wait, 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 wait. But okay. the shit, the shit that Ubon is talking about was some hip hop shit, where he where he was. <clears throat> you know, diss and Meek Mill and all that kind of shit. That was some hip hop shit. The Pusha T shit. That was some hip hop shit. You got one of the uh, you know, top five going right now. Top five MCs and Kendrick coming at him right now. That's hip hop. So if you, yeah, yeah you you may have crossed over. You may be you may be a pop, hold on. He may be a pop star, but that pop star shit is what have him thinking he ain't got to pop off when a nigga comes at him on the hip hop shit. So that's the, that's what Ubang said earlier. Like, does he, he thinks he's bigger than the response for this right now? Or, or is that the, is that the kind of, or he's putting off like, or trying to put off, like, I don't have I to respond to this. I think it's, I, I think the best thing he can do is not respond because he will lose against Kendrick Lamar going back and forth. Kendrick lives for this kind of shit. So he'll he'll lose in that respect. And then the other and, and then the other thing is like so you're not going to beat him, but you yeah, you, you don't have to do it because your fan base respects you whether you go at him or not. So you don't have to. I mean, correct, correct, and, and that's and that's, but that's that's the, what I was saying. That's the, the problem. Pop, the, pop, because, the big pop star shit. But that's the problem, though, is that what do you? I guess he's I guess he's crossed over into a spot where he's like, "Hey, I'm bigger than hip hop," and if that's the case, then yeah. you know, I can I can accept that, but. You, when you can't pick and choose that my thing is you can't pick and choose when you want to be hip hop and when you want to go and address a beef, right? Meek Mill, easy win for you. Oh, he's gonna tell you fan that base. He can. Right. So, but but when it's time to get in there with a Kendrick, first off, you know, 
it was already kind of it was already kind of goofy when you kind of sort of befriended J. Cole. It's like, what are y'all doing? Like this this collab we never saw. Uh, like, I, I am. I ain't gonna lie. I love that shit. First person. Oh, shooter. that shit is hard. Yeah, oh my absolutely. God. I love. I love it. But it's 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 on some. Oh, it's on some. It's on some. Like in 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 the competitive. It's it's almost like Jordan getting with Charles Barkley or Jordan getting with another great, right? A Magic Johnson, Magic Johnson and Jordan collabing. On, like, nah, man, we want to see the like. I want. That's why Kendrick. What Kendrick is doing. Is what we want to see. Like, okay, nah, it's not the big three. Don't, don't, don't put me with y'all. It's big me, right? <laughs> that means J. Cole, we were supposed to do something together, but if you want it, you can get it. Drake, you definitely can get it because y'all been throwing shots sublim- subliminally since but what it years back. But remember, it was years back when Kendrick released the control. control. Yes, the control shit, and they yeah. did a they did a uh, lightweight interview with Drake on it, and he was it was kind of like um, that big dog talking about the little the little pup kind of vibe that was given in that interview where he was it was uh, you know talking about no he it was he the, was the backhanded comments it. yeah 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 and he was he had said if i ask you how that verse starts would you remember like he was basically saying it's gonna be hot for for a, a second and then what you know the backhanded shit but still saying oh kendrick is kendrick is nice but you know he's on his it, way he's on again yeah he's again, on his way it, that it type was, of shit so it was, and you it gotta was, remember again, it was, before you go in uban was, you gotta remember like you dealing with artists, right? You dealing with niggas who take, well, I don't know. I'm a. Do y'all think niggas uh, ghost right for for Drake? Um, if they don't, that nigga's pen is immaculate, man. Okay, <laughs> okay. So I'll I'll say I'll say that. Well, Ubang. I'll let you answer that too. Do you think these ghost writer like, Drake? Yeah, absolutely. Hell okay. yeah. Okay. Yeah. The um the um the 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 Quentin Miller thing was a you know, that was a tipping okay. point. So right. uh, let's, but, let's yeah. for those who don't have ghost writers, you dealing with artists who take their craft seriously. So if a nigga says Oh yeah, you know it was it was cool or it was this or or treat your shit like it was lightweight. You gonna feel some type of way, or at least I would think an artist would feel some type of way because those niggas are sensitive about the product they put out or the 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 work that they create. So from that point on, I I already thought that Kendrick was on some not really fucking with Drake type oh. shit. So right, and even though they did, even though they did songs together, that's the funny thing. Like it was always, it was always in the background. But my thing is, um, my thing is, even back then, when he was, I think it was an interview. He was, it was Elliot Wilson that you uh, that you talking about the interview he did with Elliot Wilson, and even back then, the traits that he was showing was the bullying traits, right? The big dog traits. Like, I don't, I don't think, I don't see you as a threat. So I'm going to talk greasy about you right now. Kendrick is a, a legitimate threat and he's in your face. He's on your block. He's at your house in your yard saying what's good. And you looking out the window, you know, got the got your finger to bring the blinds down to see who's out there. I'm talking about you ain't you ain't you ain't tripping. You ain't coming out today. Like no, okay. no. I, I, and and you know what? You you've been talking about the bully mentality. Um, I get it because middle of the ocean, Drake has a verse where he's just going in on Serena Williams' husband, and mm-hmm. <laughs> that that that's another a one of, another one of those yeah. guys where you look at it. He's not saying anything about Drake. He's not even worried yeah. about Drake. He's worried about his wife, but Drake has something exactly. to say. 
about <laughs> hey funny shit though. <laughs> funny, funny shit the comments with a lot of this shit be funny as fuck i seen a nigga oh, yeah. like i seen a nigga like that nigga j cole is riding his bike to the studio right now <laughs> to write <laughs> to write to come back to kendrick like now that nigga you might hear some shit from that, oh. but beast. But let me ask though, beast. when it when it come to like diss tracks and all that kind of stuff, do you really think Kendrick said anything that was like super heavy like that to like shake up the whole situation? Was it really, really but, heavy but like it, that? Again, that's but that's what it was. It was just a, it was just a, it was just a love tap. It was a jab, right? Okay, fight just started. Ding ding. Hey, jab, jab, I'm feeling you out. Drake has been there before, right? He felt it, the push of T jab. Oh, Drake came out with the haymaker. Missed. Right? And and I think it was called uh I think it was called Duppy, right? And it was a good song. Yeah. Like and he came at him, yeah. he came at Kanye, right? But he made the mistake. The fatal flaw was to mention Pusha T's wife's name. And then I think Pusha T lost it. I mean, when he got yeah, back nigga, at, that's some that's Trey. some battle rap shit, nigga. <laughs> right, that is some he, battle when, rap when, type shit, nigga. <laughs> when he blacked out though, when Pusha T blacked out, he came at Dennis, his father, Sandra, his mother, nigga, his producer not, who has uh, what what does he have? Does he have MS or something? MS, like, right. yeah, MS, yeah. <laughs> Nigga, y'all niggas yeah. know Everybody y'all get niggas it. know how get it. Y'all niggas know how heavy I am into the battle rap shit. Like, yeah, you know, R U R L R B E, all that shit. Like battle rapping is some of the most disrespectful shit that you will yeah. ever experience. Like, it's no it's no holes bar, it's no fucking limits to what those niggas will say. So Again, Kevin, that goes back to like the the elements and the shit that Ubang is throwing out there. That goes that goes back to why is it pop or hip hop? No, nigga, you doing some battle rap type shit, nigga. So expect the battle rap type response from niggas. But that's why I, I get... I, that's why I'm asking though because yeah, the shit from Kendrick it wasn't like you know you no know, disrespectful heavy. Like, damn, nigga. It's just the fact that he spoke up on the other two niggas that they put in the upper echelon right now. It's just the fact that he spoke up on them niggas because it wasn't like it was just ridiculous. Like, it's not the illest shit that you ever heard in terms of, like, dissing the motherfucker. It wasn't hit him up. It was <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't Tupac hit him up. <laughs> it wasn't either. <laughs> yeah, it was. But it was, yeah. <laughs> but it was. It was. It was enough, though. It was disrespectful enough. Like it was just made to grab your attention, right? And he threw some little subliminals. Like he threw some. If you for like the the, the like the nerds that actually break down rap, like he probably threw. Yeah, it was a man, few. like seven, eight shots, right? Nah, like yeah, he, you know, what he the, say? walking the, the, with the about stick, uh, uh, yeah, you, 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 you uh, yeah. talk about J. Cole, yeah, yeah, and then you know, like uh, making a play on, on, uh, on Drake's the, the song, the the name of his uh his last album for all my dogs, like you know the K nine yeah. reference, like it, yeah. it was like he has some stuff in there, and then referencing Drake is basically like Michael Jackson. Him being Prince, right? And he's Prince, like, yeah. and, and Prince outlived, my, yeah. Outlived my, yeah. Some, so I mean, it was, it was some he he subliminals in there, you know. Again, he was trying to. He's it's that warriors come out and play, <laughs> right? He's like, hey, bro, come out. We need you outside. Get your ass out here and come rap, like yeah, and yeah. Drake but, is, but hey, you know that was some bullshit though that Tori Issa did. About the Warriors come what? out and play. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? What you talking about? No, you said the Warriors come out and play. That was when the the dude from the Rockets, Terry Tori Eason, Tori Eason's telling. Oh the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and Draymond hit that nigga with like, 
nigga, you ain't played since January 1st. <laughs> like, how you going to tell niggas to come out and play and you ain't playing? <laughs> But hey, hey man, before so, yeah. before we but, move on from it though, um, Kevin, what's up? I think it was you who said something about uh, you start talking about Gen Z and the yeah the yeah, different yeah. generations and stuff. So it crazy enough, a, a sidebar from this, I'm I'm driving in in my, in my car the other day, driving home with Ari from uh one of her practices, mm-hmm. and I say. She's a she's a J. Cole fan. And I had made a video. I know y'all saw that video of her where she's playing flag football and soccer in the same day. And mm-hmm. I used the yeah. Kendrick, uh I used the Kendrick uh verse that he just released. And I said, I know you're a J. Cole fan, Ari, but you know, I had to throw that shit on there. And she just kind of laughed. And then I turned back, I said, wait, I said, you know, Jake, you a J. Cole fan. Do you know how old he is? And then she just kind of like looks and she's like, um, 30, 39. I said, nah, but he will be next year. And I said, basically, he's in the same age group as your parents. Yeah. And y'all think he cool as shit, but y'all look at us right. like L7. Watch. But 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 <laughs> check, but peep this though. Drake is an 80s baby. He 37. The youngest one in the mix with this shit is Kendrick. He 36. So well, they look at him like he the old head. <laughs> Cause he, he the conscious rapper. So I'm so, just I'm just saying though, like you talk about generations though, Kevin, and you talk about how we grew up and it was bad. It, you know, you come back at somebody and this, this, and that. Man, these dudes, I mean, you especially J. Cole, that nigga's only a few years younger. Like these yeah, niggas is they, late thirties. They, they all, basically right they there all knocking came on from, They all came from battle rap, and they've all been in engulfed in 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 beefs. Right, J Cole famously uh, uh, went at somebody, and everybody believes he went at Kanye on uh, fall. I think was was what's the name of the uh, the joint? Not the false prophets. Things it might be called false prophets. Uh, that that one song where in the video he's on the bus talking about uh, man. I can't. I, 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 if I could think of, if I could think about it later, I'll I'll try and bring it up. But yeah, he he dissed you know he dissed Kanye and he always on all his songs like J Cole has famously done most of his albums with no features. Right, like all I need is me. Like I don't need anybody featured on my albums and all this other stuff. You know, or if you know if he does have features, it's, it's very few. Um, or he'll but, do some yeah, he'll like do that. some shit with Dreamville and, and all right. things of, you know, it, Earth it, exactly, Gang and exactly. all them niggas. Like, but 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 the funny thing is, you know how, um, and I'll, I'll leave it at this. But you know how LeBron is like this, you know, Drake's what big brother or I don't even know if you can call him big brother. They damn near the same age, right? So it's like, that- but. That, Remember, after, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, like yeah, all the niggas that all the niggas that these kids brother. think is think is cool, man. They, you know, yeah. but, I don't think uh, niggas think. Le- remember, I don't think they think LeBron is cool. Anymore. Uh, are you are you sure about that? Yeah, I don't think oh, niggas. Okay, LeBron. I don't think it's, I don't LeBron. Think it's, LeBron, the old head now in basketball terms, but like he's not that old, you know. But uh, anyway, well, he's he's forty. But anyway, so remember when 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 Drake and Pusha T were going back and forth and he got on the shop or I think it was on the shop, the show on HBO and was like, hey, man, you know, LeBron, I was just I'm just so like he got so emotional talking about how we let LeBron down. And LeBron was like, hey, man, you can never let me down. (laughs) Like this shit lame as hell. So fast forward. They in the pregame, they in the pregame at one of the Laker games in the last like week or two, and the Kendrick verse comes on, and LeBron is singing that shit word for word. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, LeBron man. is rapping that shit word for word. <laughs> 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 Like Drake probably at the house, like, come on, bro. This motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
This, oh, thing, this nigga about to make oh, a new song oh. with LeBron in this bitch. Hey, man, give me, give me crazy, a line on this crazy. nigga. Hey man, so, so somebody Remind, texted me. Somebody had texted me that shit, and I said, "Hey man, LeBron, good music is good music. LeBron loves good music, so yeah, you know, fuck with it." When 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 Kendrick goes to somebody though, it reminds me of Corrupt back in the day. That's that that those are vibes I get when he's going at these niggas. Like, damn, I remember this nigga Corrupt. Yeah, but if you think about it though, Kendrick, like he don't really. Just fuck around in that space like he gets in that bag like i think control was where he really jumped out and got into that bag and then like people just kind of stayed out of his way right and then like everything was brewing with 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 drake like like under the surface and i remember uh a few years back they talked about how there were some dis there were some diss tracks that were already ready to let go and one of their, I can't remember which one or who, or they never said who it was, but one of their teams, whether I don't know if it was Drake or if it was Kendrick, but one of their teams said, don't do it because this might be career suicide. So maybe it was Kendrick. He was, he wasn't big enough at the time to go with Drake, or maybe it was Drake's team saying like, Hey, listen, man, you on your way to being a pop star. You on your way to being a Mike Jackson, the rap, like keep going and let that shit go. You know what I'm saying? But this shit has been brewing for a minute. And maybe, maybe, maybe Drake got his got his ghost writers, you know. Uh, well, well, um, in, the, in the in the sweatshop putting together. Isn't, uh, <laughs> isn't, 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 I, need, I need more. Didn't, didn't uh, Drake mess with